stocks swing wildly a day after Dow's meltdown. U.S. stocks are attempting to fight back on Tuesday. With the Dow Jones Industrial Average seesawing between gains and losses. After opening down 568 points, the Dow surged to a gain of more than 250 points before rolling back over into negative territory. It's down about 60 points or 0.25%, as of 11.23 a.m. Tuesday's early plunge pushed the Dow close to correction territory. Down 9.3% from its January high. One casualty of the recent market action is CBOE Holdings, which trades down 15% on Tuesday. The exchange is home to the CBOE Volatility Index, or VIX, and generates as much as a quarter of its revenue from products linked to the VIX. The VIX tracks expectations for market volatility and has surged as stocks have fallen leaving some products related to it losing value fast. Monday's stock market plunge caused the VIX to spike 84%, its most on record. That caused the Velocity Shares Daily Inverse VIX Short Term ETN 14 and the ProShares Short VIX Short Term Futures ETF SVXY, products designed to return the inverse of the VIX to see their combined value shrink to $150 million from $3 billion. According to estimates from macro risk advisors, U.S. stocks were pummeled Monday, with the Dow falling almost 1,200 points. The biggest single-day point drop in its history. The U.S.'s two other major indexes, the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq, were down 4.1% and 3.8%. The market's plunge caused the market's so-called fear gauge, the CBOE Volatility Index, or VIX, to spike 84%, the most since record-keeping began in 1980. Those losses then spread to Asia where Hong Kong's Hang Seng plunged 5.12% and Japan's Nikkei lost 4.73%. The selling then moved to Europe, where Britain's FTSE minus 2%, Germany's DAX minus 2.44%, and France's CAC minus 2.57% are all under pressure. Though the stock selling began Friday after a stronger-than-expected report on wages sparked worries about a return of inflation to the U.S. It extended into this week as a combination of computer-driven trading withdrawals from popular exchange-traded funds and margin calls on investors who had bought stocks with debt all contributed to selling. At its worst on Monday, the Dow was down more than 1,500 points. Margin debt in the stock market hit a record last year, rising to at least $561 billion at the end of October. Speaking about the big drop on Tuesday morning, Mike Van Dulken, the head of research at Accendo Markets, said, Whilst the roots and drivers are sure to be discussed for days, it looks to emanate from a perfect storm of reasons including, but not restricted to, a strong 2017 rally extending into January, low volatility, low interest rates, over-optimism and complacency, over-leverage and financial engineering. All coming to a head as investors react to the possibility of higher, faster interest rates. Rises with bond yields creeping higher to jeopardize the current market situation. Five things you need to know to start your day. Global stock sell-off. Here are some of the things people in markets are talking about today. Stocks fall. Yesterday's tumultuous U.S. stock session which saw the Dow Jones Industrial Average drop as much as 1,500 points, has spread across the world.
overnight. The MSCI Asia Pacific Index plunged 3.5% to wipe out gains for the year. While Japan's Nikkei 225 stock average closed 4.7% lower to enter a so-called correction, capping a 10% decline from the recent peak. In Europe, the stock's 600 index was 1.8% lower at 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, with every industry sector losing ground. S&P 500 futures were unchanged, in a pre-market that has seen large swings in both directions. Follow Bloomberg's live blog of the market moves here. Volatility surge. The plunge in stocks has seen one of traders' favorite strategies of late, shorting volatility. Get hit very hard. The CBOE Volatility Index, or VIX Index, was at 42.62 this morning. Up from 17.31 at the end of last week. The surge is raising questions about products tied to the gauge. Trading in the Velocity Shares Daily Inverse VIX Short Term ETN, which saw returns of 187% last year, was halted this morning. BlackRock Inc., the world's biggest asset manager, called for more regulation of the products. Bond bid. Government bond markets are seeing a reversal of recent declines as traders seek sanctuary in. Safer assets. Sovereign debt in Europe is rallying, with yields on German, French and UK. Bonds all falling. The yield on the 10-year Treasury was largely unchanged at 2.724%. After a significant rally yesterday as stocks fell. The equity sell-off has investors changing their bets on the likely path of Federal Reserve rate increases, with the market implied odds of hikes later this year easing. Commodities hit. A barrel of West Texas Intermediate for March delivery dropped to $63.85 by 5.45 a.m. As raw materials were caught in the market sell-off. There are some early signs of the overnight declines in metals easing as the Bloomberg Commodity index paired losses to 0.1%. Gold, which traditionally does well in times of market uncertainty, rose slightly to $1,343.36 an ounce. Crypto crunch. Bitcoin briefly traded below $6,000 overnight as weakness in digital tokens continued. With Ripple, Ether and Litecoin also tumbling at least 11%. The plunge in cryptocurrencies means that many miners of the tokens are hitting a crunch point. Where running the hardware to extract new coins is more costly than the value of those coins.